Hello, good people. Welcome to a public spa in Korea. This is Korea's public spa, or Jimjilbang in Korean, and it's a place where a lot of Koreans visit to bathe in a hot tub with a bunch of other people, fry themselves in a sauna, get painful but satisfying body scrub, eat delicious food, and even sleep side by side with other people. This might sound a little bizarre, but people of all ages like going to Jimjilbang in Korea. So what makes it so popular, and what do you exactly do there? Well, keep watching the video because your good Korean Uncle Jimmy will show you. Oh my god! So I'm out here in Gangnam, Korea today, and I found this amazing public Jimjilbang, and they were okay with us filming today. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go inside, I'll show you guys what it's like. So very often, you'll realize that a lot of these Jimjilbang, they're in the basement level. And I think that's because the rent is more affordable. Like, to run a Jimjilbang business, it's not like you need a nice view, right? Where could it be? Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, they're there. I'll take you guys through every step of the way, so don't be intimidated. By the end of this video, you'll be a Jimjilbang expert. So guys, what you want to do as soon as you come inside, you want to take off your shoes, because it's an Asian business. So usually they have these shoe lockers at the entrance. Just open the shoe locker. It's a little dirty inside. Shut the door. Pull the key out, okay? Now you want to walk up to the counter. So the price is a little different depending on the time of the day. Give or take, it's like $8, $10. It's not that much of money, especially considering what you're going to get. But wait, I have a question. Just 사장님 질문이 있는데 혹시 외, 외국인도 와도 괜찮습니까? 아, 모든 인종 괜찮습니까? 아, 네. 모든 괜찮습니다. Oh, thank God. I got a little nervous right there. <laughs> ah. Just wanted to make sure that my country is in the right place. 아, 역시. 여자만 빼고. 아, 여자만 빼고. <laughs> this is men's only spa. Sometimes they have spaces for both genders. This specific business, it's for us men. I'm not too sure about the people in between. As you guys can clearly see, we're not racist, but we're not that far down the progressive movement, you know? 그럼 두명 부탁드립니다. 아, 감사합니다. After you pay for it, they're gonna give you a key. You wanna hold on to this key and now finally enter the spa. So after you pay for the admission, you'll come into this locker room with different numbers. You just need to find the number on your key and that's your locker. And typically when people come to a public spa, public bath, what do they do? They have to take a bath. What do you do to take a bath? You gotta take off your clothes and this it's the locker key for you to keep your stuff in. The locker has enough space to keep a lot of things, but not quite enough to keep a luggage, so keep that in mind. This is kind of embarrassing. Because I'm like, I'm kind of self-conscious about my physique. You know, I'm a little skinny as you guys can see. I feel like some of you guys might feel a little uncomfortable getting undressed in front of your friends or total strangers. But a lot of us Koreans, we've been to the military and we grew up going to public bath that we don't really feel uncomfortable. In fact, we feel so comfortable that sometimes we uh, sniff test each other for their STDs. Sometimes I feel like, that's hepatitis B, bro. <laughs> no, we don't do that. <laughs> you can stop filming now, okay? Let me get changed. Okay, I'm all undressed now. You're not really supposed to wear a towel like this, but just for the sake of YouTube and for your eyes, I will have this on today, okay? I'm also wearing a Speedo to prevent accidents, but you shouldn't. This is kind of cool. So this is a vending machine where they have toothbrush, socks, razor blade, shampoo, hair conditioner, foam cleanser, even a facial mask. Because us men, we take care of ourselves too. So when you go to a Korean spa, inside their locker room, they always have a barber shop. I don't know how that became a thing, but it's been like that since I was a little kid. Truth be told, a lot of us young Koreans, uh, we care about our appearance so much that we tend to go for like the more expensive hair salons. But I would say people of the older generation, they get their hair cut here. It's very affordable too. Oh, it says it's only... So it's about $9 or $10 for a haircut. This day and age, that is affordable, right? I remember getting my hair cut as a kid every now and then when I go to a spa like this. You would sit here and get your hair cut. I remember getting a haircut once and then 
I was very unhappy with it. And then the next day I went to school, kids made fun of my haircut. They said I looked like Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man. That was really hurtful. I also like how they have a little personal storage here. I think these are for the regular customers. They keep their uh, toothbrush and other small items here. Every Korean spa has a weight scale. And these tend to be very accurate. I'm only 83 kilograms. How do you like your slender beauty? Maybe I should become a fashion model. Once again, you're supposed to be completely naked, okay? Do not have a towel around your waist and go into the bathtub. Alright, so let's go inside and take a look. Now, once you enter the actual spa, it's a whole new world. I want to cover the first thing that you want to do as soon as you come inside here. Guess what? You have to take a shower. You don't want to bring all the dirt and your own... Your sweat, other people's sweat. You don't want to introduce any of that into our public bath because that's nasty. Okay, this is a very controversial secret, but inside the man's bath, they provide the soap. When you go to woman's bath, they don't have soap. Now, don't blame me for saying this. Reason being, <laughs> apparently in woman's bath, these soaps tend to disappear extremely quickly. Maybe they uh, use a lot of it or Maybe some people like to take it home. I don't know. What I know for a fact, most of the time if you're a woman, you have to bring your own soap or body wash or shampoo. What we also have is free toothpaste and um, salt. A lot of people use that to brush their teeth too. Man, I'm spilling a lot of secrets of us, man. Anyway, let me take a shower. When you take a shower, you have to like, you know, you have to take a thorough shower, okay? There's something that I'd like to mention about us Koreans, and that's the fact that generally speaking, a lot of Koreans have great practice of personal hygiene, like we take shower every day at least once, and we rarely experience strong body odors in public. Unless we're in like a packed subway. Let's just say people are very considerate and sensitive when it comes to the sense of smell. They also have a urinal in the corner, which is extremely considerate. Because man to man, you tell me, you wouldn't want to rush out of here and go to the toilet, right? So in a public Korean spa, there's hot water and cold water. After you take a shower, what most people do is go into the hot water. This water can be pretty hot, so be very careful. This hot tub was 39 degrees Celsius, which is what you'll see in most places. You know how I know I'm getting old? This water used to feel blazing hot when I was young. Now it's just nice and warm. Oh. This is nice. Usually the water in these places don't have color. I think they just added it for the aesthetics. So I come to Jim Jilbang with my friends a lot. And uh, what we like to do is we sit here and talk about life. And uh, while we are relaxing in this nice and warm water, this is where you tell your most sensitive secrets too. Well, at least I do that. <laughs> I must point out that the water here was extremely clean. Sometimes the spas don't change their water often enough. So you end up in a murky Korean man broth, which is a horrible feeling. So they have another strawberry colored bathtub here. In a Korean spa, you'll sometimes find a second hot tub with a different water temperature. This one's 45 degrees Celsius, which is a lot more hot. I'm the kind of guy that likes to challenge myself. Oh my god, it's so hot. <sighs> this can get uncomfortably hot, but no one's telling you to stay there except for your toxic male traits, which I happen to have a lot. Oh my god, oh. my abs became hard boiled. You guys probably saw these in Japanese videos, right? I'm still waiting for my sensei or senpai. Well, they don't have a gorgeous female Japanese senpai, but you can pay for a middle-aged Korean man that will scrub the shit out of your skin. So what you do here is you can pay for a body scrub service where you lay down here completely naked and a gentleman will show up with this. It's like a sandpaper, shark skin, it's super rough. And they just scrub the f out of your skin. And supposedly that's good for your skin. I don't know if it's good for your skin, but it sure does feel good actually. I want to get that service done too, but I only have so much time here today, so I'll skip it. But if you guys do come here, maybe try one of these services. So we got the bathtub covered. What they also have here is an actual sauna. In fact, two different saunas. This one right here is a steam sauna. So it's like very wet and moist inside. I kind of want to go in there. But with the camera, I don't think I should. They have uh, water spraying out everywhere. 
Would you guys want to take a look at least? However, I want to go into this dry sauna. It's over 100 degrees Celsius. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so hot. What you'll find is uh, usually they have a TV, surprisingly. So you can keep up with the Korean politics. It's always politics and golf. I don't know why. And they have this hourglass. I believe these are like 5 minutes each. And uh, all you have to do is to sit down here, endure the heat, and um, experience all the benefit of being in a sauna. Oh, oh. 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 oh, look how sweaty I'm getting right now. <laughs> I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, oh God. There was some infernal heat right there. When your body's heating up like this, there is a solution. Come here. Do you guys know what this is? I'll show you what this is. That's a jet-powered cold water. Now what I like to do to end my bath experience, I like to go into the cold water. The cold water is obviously freezing cold in these places, but it feels nice when you get used to it. So yeah, what I like to do is I like to go into the sauna and then jump into the cold water and then go back into the sauna and then jump back into the cold water. The trial of fire and ice. Okay, I've done everything that I possibly could here. So I'm gonna take a shower again because I like to keep myself clean. I just took a bath but that water contained probably hundreds of men today so... Can I tell you guys one other secret? We have a stack of towels just outside the shower and I've been told that Women, when they go into a spa, they just give you two towels at the register. Reason being, for some magical reason, in women's spa, these uh, towels tend to disappear very quickly. So even the spas that are open to both genders, um, the women get their towels at the entrance. But Jimmy, that is so sexist! Well, it's not me that decided this. It's the spa business owners in Korea that decided to do this. And I feel like there's not a single thing that I want to do to change that. Hmm. Maybe that's how white people feel about racism. Here you can pick up your jimjilbo or t-shirt and shorts. Because the next place we're headed to, we'll need to dress up. There's a little area outside the bath. And this is where you can style your hair like a K-pop star. And they even give you skincare products. Can't speak for its quality, but I'm sure it's better than nothing. So once you're all dried up and changed into the jimjilbang uniform, you can go into their lounge. And it gets more fun from here. So when you go to a Korean spa, the bath area is obviously segregated by gender. But the lounge, this is where you can dress into their cute Jim Jilbang suit and hang out with your boyfriend, girlfriend, and do all kinds of things. PG-13 stuff only though. So this is their beautiful lounge where you can relax in so many different ways. Let's take a little tour, shall we? In the lounge, you can pretty much sleep anywhere. There is a dedicated sleeping room, but some people sleep here in the lounge. So if you want to do that, you can get one of these uh, mattresses and a little blanket. I picked up the star pattern because my heart shines like a star. <clears throat> and, a, <laughs> and a pillow. Feels a little hard on my hand. But <laughs> and there's nothing that's stopping you from sleeping anywhere you want. In fact, you can sleep in the middle of the lounge and no one's going to stop you. Oh, hell yeah. Believe it or not, it's surprisingly comfortable to sleep on one of these mattresses. What you can do to have fun is putting a few mattresses side by side with your friends and then just, you know, having a little party here. As long as you're not too loud, people aren't gonna give you a hard time. It's really fun. They have massage chairs over here too. You can use this with your key. And it's like $2 for 15 minutes. I have a feeling that some people just sleep here without paying. They also have a professional massage room too. And no, it's not that kind of massage. If you just want to sleep, there is a sleeping room where you can just sleep quietly in the dark side by side with other men. It's empty now, but it'll get very crowded during weekends because a lot of people come here to sleep after drinking as it is a lot cheaper than taking a taxi home. You guys know what's really thoughtful? Come here. For each of the sleeping spaces, they have all these charging cables for each one of them. That's super convenient, so you can play with your phone all night here. 
It's not a five-star hotel king-size bed, but unless you're annoyingly entitled, you should be able to sleep here without an issue. There's one more important thing that you can do in the lounge, and that is eating food. There's a little cafeteria here. So they often have this cafeteria where they sell snacks, drinks, and full-on Korean-style meals. Apparently, you can use this key to log how much you spent here. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. Oh, I this This is where their shikhe comes from. I love shikhe. Oh, they got all the side dishes here too. In other Jinjabang where they're open for both male and female, there will be female uh, customers here as well. One time when I wasn't too used to um, being in a Korean spa, and forgot about the part that I had to dress up, you know? So I came into this lounge area completely naked. Well, it took me like one second to realize that there are other people, in fact, dozens and dozens of people. It was pretty late at night, so I feel like everyone was sleeping, but um, I think one or two people might have seen me completely naked. I didn't want to make a sudden movement because that's going to attract a lot of eyeballs, so I slowly turned around and then walked back into the locker room. Anyway, it's a huge thing to drink shikhe when you're in a Korean jimjilbang. It's traditional Korean drink. Uh, it comes from fermented rice. So sweet. Honestly, as sweet as Coca-Cola. This probably has a lot of sugar. I must say, it feels amazing drinking some shikhe after a sauna session. And here's my food. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Oh my god. Alright, I got all this for myself. My friend doesn't want to eat. Alright, cool guy. So this is the cheyukbukgum, which is um, marinated pork. It's really delicious. And this is yolmu guksu, which is um, young reddish noodle. The quality of the food that you get in a jimjibang can vary a lot depending on where you go to, but this is one of the better ones I've seen. Oh, they give you a lot of portion too. Let me start with the, the yolmu guksu. You guys should have some, really. So this is a type of cold noodle that you don't see too often in Korea. Oftentimes, cold noodles in Korea are bakwit based, whereas this one was rice-based. So nice and refreshing. There's just a touch of spiciness, but it's not really spicy. The rice noodle, it goes so well with this radish. I've been on a diet for a while, so this to me is like a cheat meal. These are baked eggs. So this is the most basic jimjilbang food that you can get. Oh, it just peels right off. Protein. It comes with a packet of salt. I personally eat my egg without salt. I don't really mind it. Mm. Once you feel like you're choking, enjoy that while you can. And if you reach that point that you can't take it anymore, then drink that shikhe. Dude, I feel like a king right now. There's so much food. I also enjoyed their cheyupokum a lot. It wasn't as good as a really good restaurant, but it was restaurant quality for sure. A good Korean restaurant is measured by their kimchi. Hmm, I like their kimchi. So what I'll do, I'll get some kimchi and have that with the rice noodle. Wow, genius. The food is affordable and they had a decent quality. So it was an amazing way to end my day at the Jimjilba. And I think that marks the end of my time in this spa. All right, so I'm done with my business here. After you're done, you simply need to return the keys. Since I used my key to buy the food while I was here, this is where I had to pay for that. And the gentleman that was working at the front offered me a drink, which was very kind of him. <laughs> Pretty privilege again. I got this Korean um, middle-aged gentleman energy drink. Now, I just need to pick up my shoes and get out of here. Made a lot of good memories. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Do you guys want to see more ambitious videos like these? 
then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, listen to my songs on Spotify, and uh, even join my Discord server, okay? All right, take care, guys. Oh, that was fun. Come on, go watch my other videos.